As COVID-19 testing kits are in short supply around the country, yet more and more people are showing up to clinics with symptoms wanting to get tested. We asked healthcare professionals how they determine who gets sent home to monitor symptoms and who gets tested. Uh, there are days I start the clinic where we saw 145 patients a uh, week before last uh, in this clinic, uh, just at one setting, and we started the day with access to 20 swabs. So you're really triaging down to who can be reasonably quarantined and keep the community safe and who has to be swabbed. So the CDC has different priority levels, and for a lot of this time we've been on with standard priority one testing is patients who are being admitted to the hospital symptomatic health care workers in critical areas who have direct patient care. So far in Arkansas, over 20,000 people have been tested for COVID-19, with over 19,000 of those being negative and almost 1,400 being positive. Now hospitals across the country are struggling with who gets tested as well. Some hospitals in Northeast Arkansas are asking people with no underlining health issues or a compromised immune system with few COVID symptoms to self quarantine at home and monitor their symptoms before seeing a doctor. Obviously, if you were at a birthday party, which you shouldn't have been at in the beginning, but if you're at a birthday party and one of them ends up being positive, then of course, you know, if you don't have symptoms, we're going to ask you to monitor. Now, if those symptoms present or if you have reason to suspect that you then may have it, then yeah, we need to get that appointment and, and let that provider, you know, make the determination of whether that test is needed. Now, if you do have a compromised immune system or an underlining health condition and or showing symptoms of COVID-19, doctors say it's very important that you call your health care provider immediately and get tested as fast as you can. In Jonesboro for Northeast Arkansas News, I am Sarah Doan.